Hi, this is Jim, and this video is about trains I saw at the Chicago Museum of Science and Industry, or MSI for short. The museum building shown here is the only surviving structure from the Chicago World's Fair. It was originally built for the fair to display artwork from around the world. Today we will explore the train collection at the museum, starting with the Pioneer Zephyr, then the model railroading layout, and finishing off with a 44999 loco. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications. The Pioneer Zephyr 9900 is a diesel powered train set built by the Bud Company in 1934 for the Burlington route. The cars are made of stainless steel, permanently articulated together with Jacob's bogies. The stainless steel was attached to the body using a new process called shot welding, which required heat treating the metal to a ductile state and precisely welding it to the frame by controlling weld time and current. The train set you see here consists of four cars. The first contains the engineer's cab, engine and railway post office. Next is the express cargo car, followed by the cafe car and the observation car. On the walls, the museum projects other Zephyr trains that ran over the years. The first car I'm going through is the observation car. It has a bathroom and a separate men's urinal bathroom. In the car you can see how the cars are connected. It looks like this round disc on the floor and below it are Jacob's bogies which are placed between the two carriages and carries the weight of both cars at the same time. The next car is the cafe car which has a small counter to serve food. Next is the Freight Express car, which probably also held baggage. The last car we'll enter is the first car of the train, which has a railway post office 
the engine, and the engineer's cap. Next, we'll enter the Hall of Transportation, which has planes, trains, and one awesome train layout. The train layout depicts travel from the Windy City to Seattle. When you first enter, downtown Chicago is presented in all its wonder. The Chicago River runs through the model, and buildings light up as day turns to night. You can spend a long time just looking at all the fine details in this display. When you follow the track out of town, the scene changes to light industrial areas, which eventually give way to the country. Train servers, gentle valleys, and eventually mountains. When we finally reach the west coast, we are presented with ports in Seattle's Space Needle. The Seattle model lights up as day turns to night. We eventually leave Seattle and go back east where we pass through mountains with active mines and mining industries. Eventually, we are back in Chicago, with subway trains running to town and apparently disappearing once in the city. The museum mounted a camera on the train and you can enjoy the view as it goes around the layout. Also in the museum is the New York Central Engine 999 that set the fastest land speed record May 10, 1893 of 112.5 miles per hour. It's amazing a small 4.4 engine was able to go that fast. The train stay on the tracks so or derail and kill everybody. Now we were not going to have a secret Sherlock Holmes test run. We were going to test the speed of this train with the entire consistency. Thanks for watching. Please tell others about the channel and subscribe.